The central themes in Rep. Troy Neal's statements revolve around the perceived fairness of elections, the influence of public support, and media bias. First time in the courtroom, I sat in there for an hour and I said, we've got a comp compromise judge, no question about it. We've already highlighted to you all about the daughter, big mega donor for all the Democrats. They don't want Donald Trump off the ballot. They don't want him on the ballot. They don't want Donald Trump holding rallies because what happens at his rallies? This is five weeks sitting in a courtroom when he should be out reaching the American people and telling the American people what he would like to do for this country. And who shows up? Tens of thousands of people show up at Donald Trump's rallies. The Democrats hate it. There's not another person on the planet that can do that other than the Pope, the Pope. And when do people go? They visit the Pope. What do they say? Pope, what can you do? Would you bless me and my family? That's what they want. They want blessings for their family when they go see the Pope. When people come to Donald Trump's rallies, they're saying, Donald Trump, we need you more than ever before. Our country is burning. The world's on fire. We need leadership. The American people are begging for leadership. And they're asking Donald J. Trump, stay strong. Continue to fight for the American people and the Make America Great movement. That's what this is all about. And all the dishonest media, all of you out there, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. But I guarantee damn well to you this. Donald Trump's going to be the 47th president. Donald Trump's going to be the 47th president. And he's going to make America great again again. Can you explain your class? Don Niels argues that there is an effort to block Donald Trump's electoral chances, tapping into public anxieties about the integrity of the democratic process and possible political persecution. He underscores the public's vested interest in preserving a fair and transparent election system. Niels likens Trump to a pope, highlighting his capacity to draw massive crowds and inspire fervent loyalty among his supporters, indicating Trump's substantial public backing. This enthusiasm is a crucial element of democratic and civic engagement, which the public values deeply. Additionally, Niels points out the criticism that the media is dishonest and evasive on these matters, reflecting a widespread distrust of mainstream media perceived as biased against certain viewpoints and candidates. This skepticism serves as a protective stance to ensure one's values and opinions are represented in public discourse. Niels's allegations of election interference and media bias stir fears of political corruption and injustice, fostering a sense of solidarity and validation among Trump supporters who share these apprehensions.